You guys already saw the title and the thumbnail Reptile Room Tour December 2020. Hope it should be a bit more steady because I got a new pistol grip tripod, it's what it's called. So, yeah, I'll see you guys at the start of the room. First, or outside my room, this is like first thing you see. Sure, if you hear noise, my family sounds search, but it says beware of attack when you guys can see this. I got this for like 10 bucks off of Amazon. Just use some like um, 3M doorbell tape just to stick it to my door. Now, if you look back at my old, old reptile room doors, I never had a door, so it's nice to have a door. Then, when you first walk in, there's nothing on the back of the door. I'm probably gonna get like something that says like beware reptiles or turtle crossing or something funny like that. Um, but the first thing we have is my desk where I normally keep like my laptop, my phone, stuff like this. And this is where I sit. And this is Noah's tank, which is actually my first animal we're going to talk about. So Noah is my leopard gecko. Now we're not going to pull him out for today's video. But I will put some pictures of him up on the screen right now. And now the reason we can't pull him out is because he's actually in this thing called brumation. You can see in this house right there. He's actually in this thing called brumation. Now if you don't know what brumation is... I'll link that video in the description, but it's a, a process pretty much where reptiles hibernate. Um, now they're thinking it's hibernation again, but it's where they hibernate and they don't eat or drink until January, but they're not in like a deep, deep sleep like bears. They're still awake, but they're not, I don't know how to explain it in this video, so just watch it in a different video, but pretty much he's in like a deep, deep sleep. So it's pretty much similar to hibernation, but for reptiles and hibernation is, you know, is like when they stock up on a bunch of food and then go to sleep for the winter. Reptiles can do this as long as you have the proper heating like since I have the overhead heating which goes off at night And it gets colder at night. Obviously, he's noticing that it's getting colder at night each night and each night So he's noticing to go into brumation, but in his tank We have an aloe vera plant his calcium dish his cool hide his warm hide Don't worry when he comes out of brumation. He's getting a 40 gallon This is a 29 gallon tank if I forgot to mention this with my own substrate mix and a little bit of the bio substrate and for a cleanup crew we have some dark wing beetles if that would focus you can see that one right there and we also have mealworms as you can see right there and we also have spring tails nicopods now this plant right here um by the way i hope the quality is better since i got a better tripod but this um plant right here is a different type of aloe you guys can see my camera would focus on that you can see that's a different type of aloe Back there, we have a huge snake plant. You guys can see it's pretty big. It's like almost taller than the basking spot. This is his basking spot, some rocks, and that's where he's in that house. And then we got his water dish. Now, moving on, once you get up, you can see he's got his... I always want to have thermostats. So this is just an on and off thermostat. Sorry, guys, for the glare. This is an on and off thermostat. I just have this on that big light up there. Just in case it were to overheat, it would shut off if it gets above 98 um, degrees. Just... For an extra safety measure it's not the best for the bulb but i also do have a dimming thermostat in the bulb you guys can see that right there then we got all my cables hidden back there sorry for the bad lighting um now under this we do have my mealworm culture which i'm going to show you guys and we also have my isopod culture so we got my isopod culture right here let's look at some of those for you guys there's none under this one and let's see if we can find some. There's a baby right there, but my camera won't focus on. And there's one right in there. You guys can see him right there moving. There he goes. We're going to put his house back just so they can feel safe and secure. And there's also another one back there. And there might be some. Oh, yeah, you guys can see. There's one, two, three. Another one down there. Um, but they're doing well. They're repopulating and stuff like that. Also, sorry if I got the sniffles in this video, guys. Um, 
yeah if you guys are new to my channel i recommend watching all my other videos about my animals because they're pretty cool back here you guys can't really see anything so i'm just gonna pull this stuff out we got my meal and colony in here by the way i'm holding it with my left hand now so it might be a bit more shaky but you can see we got my mealworm colony in there and then this empty critter keeper that we have nothing in and then just all my reptile supplies so we got crushes turtle food right there and then we have like rapashi cricket gel food um supplements and all that stuff for reptiles i made a whole video about cleaning my pet room that will be linked in the description too if you guys want to see how i clean this thing now you can't see this yet don't look at that so over here we got my wall of drawing so i drew this um my sister actually drew this beautiful drawing for me um i drew this i drew this my sister's friend drew this and somebody in my discord and on youtube her youtube channel is called noop and her discord name is yeet she actually digital draw this drew this you can see like how good that is my camera focus now over here we have my play button along with this little chill area right here so we just have like um I don't know what this is called, like a big pillow thing. And then we got my Christmas tree. You guys already know I had to get a Christmas tree for the reptile room. It's also my bedroom, but I had to get this little tree. It's like 10 bucks at Walmart and I got some. Can't really see, but they're like colorful lights all over the tree. It's not picking it up. So there's white lights and then there's colorful lights. But I really like this tree. It looks nice. Um, then we have my betta fish squirt right back there who's doing strong almost going on four years i gotta get some of this hair algae off and then we got my snail pearl right there who's going on about a year old and she has a java fern in her tank you can see it's getting new growth after like three months this huge amazon sword in this top fin five gallon tank coming to say hi squirt i just actually did a recent betta fish care guide which will be linked in the description you can see squirt right there Here she goes. You can see beautiful in red. There's a whole story about her. I'll link that in the description of like how she got her fins ripped and stuff. And now this is one of my favorite things. Switching to my left hand again. So sorry. Just got this new like Zen Garden thing. Probably don't care. But there's like made this little like rock design. What you do is you take this rake and you kind of just like brush the sand. It's like really cool. We got this at the dollar store for like a dollar. Exactly a dollar actually. A dollar or six cents. So yeah. That's that. And then over here and we have this bio dude um, magnet that i got and then we have tarzan's tank tarzan is my hermit crab i'll put up some pictures of him on the screen or a b-roll of him he's actually not doing the best i mean uh, he's not doing bad is what i meant um because his tank's color covered with saran wrap and you may be wondering, where is he? He's actually molting right now, which means he's buried under the substrate. And you never want to pull your hermit crab up when molting. So let's go over his tank real quick. He doesn't have any lights because I don't want to stress him out. But he just has um, salt water dish, hide, two shells, which I need to get more, food dish, uh, fake plant, trees, cocoa climbing wall. Um, I know that's ugly, but it's a freshwater dish and a big hide right there. If you guys want to check out his rescue video, link in the description. But up here we have just a mister. See this? paintbrush and his salt water bottle i'm gonna go let my cat in because i can hear him meowing at my door guys my cat just came in his name is sylvester if you guys want to check out some other videos with him they'll be linked in the description so i guess he's going to be coming along the tour with us he actually i just recently cut his nails and that will be in the video in the description he's just checking out our christmas tree so if you do hear him knock over anything I'm sorry about that. Um, we also have another cat named Shadow, but she's not going to be joining us. Okay, so now we have this 20-gallon hexagon Thrive tank. Um, as you can see, it's a pretty big tank for my crested gecko named Coco, who is right here. We're going to open up the tank as Sylvester rubs all my leg. And you can see him right That is my Crest Gecko Coco. Um, I just bought him went, um, at a pet store. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. My local pet store. So I don't know what morph she is or anything like that. As my cat rubs on my leg. But yeah, he, 
it's a he actually has this huge tank. We got magnetic ledges here, a bunch of sticks. It's bioactive, fully bioactive. Same with Noah's. Um, baby pothos there. Big, huge pothos down there. Um, nice snake plant. A little bit of a fern that I don't know if it's dead or not. Yeah, but a bunch of sticks in this tank and one fake plant, and she absolutely loves this. It's a front opening, um, Thrive, 20 gallon tall, um, hexagon tank, I think the name is, with a custom background that I did not make. Somebody actually made that, and I bought this tank off of Facebook Marketplace. And then right here, we just have the Biodude Grow Light, same with on Noah's tank. And now, if you come over here, um, we got my little heater right there, and we have my fish tank now this is my 10 gallon tank now i recently just got new fish for this tank that will actually be either at the end of this video in an i card or it will be in the description below if you do want to check that out but these are daniel fish i did a whole video on getting these new fish so if you want to go check that out i definitely recommend it so yeah definitely check this video out where I made this, but we just have this simple aquascape right here. We have a mystery snail and, I mean, a nearite snail and a mystery snail and a cat. Um, and you can see this is like, this like aquascape. So when you look down at, sorry, Sylvester's rubbing against me, but it kind of looks like it goes on forever. We have a java fern, um, some windalow java fern, some merino moss balls that I ripped up, a nubius, and more java fern windalow. This tank is really cool. I really do love this tank. We also have a beanbag over here just so we can sit and chill and enjoy this tank. And up here, now a lot of you may not understand, but we do have my snapping turtle crush right here. Um, you can see he's got a basking spot up there, which he actually moved his rock a little bit for that basking spot, but that's okay. I saw him basking on that earlier. And she actually is a girl. Sorry, I keep saying he, but she is my female common snapping turtle who I rescued. The video on that is in the description, but you can see she's coming to say hi. Her heater right there, basking spot. Um, her heater's broken. I mean, not broken, but it's like moved because that's what she does. Um, fake plant there, fake plant there. I'm probably going to get some more fake plants. And we have a 50-gallon filter on this tank on a 40-gallon tank. If I didn't already mention this, 40-gallon. Hello. Good focus. Why would we be so lucky for it to focus? But... Yeah, that's her tank right there. And I'm sorry to say this, guys. That is the end of the reptile room tour. Other than under there, we have some fish supplies that you guys will probably don't care about. And we got my chair. And in here is just, you might be wondering, in here is just like my closet. So we got some reptile stuff up there and obviously my clothes and stuff. But yeah, that is actually the end of this tour. Um, I really hope you guys did enjoy today's video if you did make sure to drop a like smash that subscribe and hit that notification bell and i'll see you guys on the next one make sure to do your research and i'm out peace